Peter's magical snow day adventure, in a cozy little house nestled at the end of a quiet street, lived a boy named Peter. Peter was a curious and imaginative soul, always ready for an adventure. One chilly winter morning, he awoke to a magical sight. The world outside his window was covered in a soft, fluffy blanket of fresh white snow. Trees, rooftops, and streets looked as if they were dusted with powdered sugar. Peter's eyes sparkled with excitement, and he jumped out of bed, quickly bundling up in his warmest clothes, hat, scarf, and mittens. He tugged on his boots and dashed outside, the cold air kissing his cheeks and turning his breath into little puffs of mist. The snow beneath his feet made a delightful crunching sound, and Peter couldn't help but giggle. Everything felt magical like a dream come to life. He bent down and scooped up a handful of snow, packing it carefully into a perfect round ball. I'm going to make the biggest snowball ever, Peter declared with determination. He rolled the snowball along the ground, watching in amazement as it grew bigger and bigger with each turn. Soon it was as tall as he was. Peter gave his giant snowball a proud pat, grinning from ear to ear. With his snowball complete, Peter decided to explore the snowy wonderland around him. He trudged through the park, leaving a trail of little footprints behind. Suddenly, he spotted a tree with branches weighed down by snow. Peter walked over and gave the tree a gentle shake, sending a cascade of delicate snowflakes down onto his head. He laughed as the cold flakes tickled his nose and melted on his face. As he continued his journey, Peter noticed something poking out from the snow, a long, sturdy stick, perfect for drawing. Grabbing it, Peter began to draw in the smooth snow, creating swirls, shapes, and doodles. He drew a happy snowman with a big smile, a family of snow bunnies, and a magical castle with tall towers. Finally, he drew a giant swirling path that led to a hidden treasure. In his imagination, Peter was a snow artist decorating the world with his whimsical creations. Just as he was finishing his masterpiece, Peter heard a faint jingling sound in the distance. The jingling grew louder and louder, filling the crisp air with a cheerful melody. Curious, he turned around and saw a beautiful horse-drawn sleigh gliding toward him, bells jingling on the horse's harness. The sleigh was filled with children, all bundled up in warm blankets, laughing and waving as they passed. Would you like a ride? One of the children called out to Peter. Peter's heart raced with excitement and he nodded eagerly. The driver helped him onto the sleigh, and soon he was sitting cozily among the other children. As the horse began to pull the sleigh, Peter felt a thrill like no other. The wind brushed against his face as they glided through the snow and he felt like he was flying. The horse's hooves created a soft rhythm against the snowy ground, and Peter couldn't stop smiling. After a delightful ride through the sparkling white village, Peter waved goodbye to his new friends and returned to his snowy adventure. He noticed a hill nearby, covered in thick, untouched snow, and a mischievous idea popped into his head. Peter climbed to the top of the hill, flopped onto his back, and began moving his arms and legs in sweeping motions, creating a big snow angel. He made angel after angel until the hill was covered with them, stretching out in all directions. As the sun began to set, casting a warm, golden glow over the snow-covered village, Peter's heart was full of joy. The snow sparkled like tiny diamonds, and the sky turned shades of pink and orange. His cheeks were rosy, and his hands were a little chilly, but he felt happy and content. Finally, it was time to head home. Peter brushed the snow off his boots and stepped inside, feeling the warmth of his cozy house wrap around him like a hug. He changed into his pajamas and snuggled under a blanket with a cup of hot cocoa, the marshmallows melting into gooey sweetness. As he sipped his cocoa, he thought back on his snowy adventure, the giant snowball, the friendly sleigh ride, the snow angels, and he knew it was a day he would remember forever. That night, as he lay in bed, Peter closed his eyes, dreaming of snowflakes and laughter and all the magic that winter had brought. His heart was full, and his dreams were sweet for he knew that sometimes the simplest of days could turn into the grandest of adventures. The End